Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury. Yes. So we are back and uh, last time we um, made a lot of allies. Uh, we have a couple of weak claims that can be pressed on Toulouse. Um, which I'm not too interested in right now. And uh, new important decisions are available. Let's take a look at that. Uh, shut the gates. Don't tell me there's another epidemic coming up on... No, there's no epidemic that I can see here on the map mode, but it's telling us to shut the gates. So let's just ignore that for now and go back to our realms map mode. Uh, we have different uh, decisions available here. Um, let's quickly uh, check our plots. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, I had a... Uh, a person comment below uh, asking me about uh, the bloodlines that we might have and uh, right now my dynasty does not have a bloodline which is a bit odd since uh, considering uh, in real history uh, King Rodri the Great of Powys was a, a very prominent king for Wales and uh, if you ask them back in the day he was the king for Wales so uh, him not having a bloodline kind of sucks uh, because he was such an important character uh, but we can take a look at other people who might have a bloodline um, maybe as we can see Aquitaine is uh, taken over and uh, maybe he has a bloodline here so uh, this one's for you buddy uh, you commented below so I'm showing you a bloodline this video <laughs> so King Louis the third of Aquitaine he is a brilliant warrior as well as a great statesman, established the Franks as undisputed master of Gaul and led the army that defeated the Muslims in Battle of Tours. So we might have actually taken a look at this guy's bloodline before, I'm not too sure. As you can see his monthly prestige here, his personal combat skill and all that good stuff. Uh, Carling Dynasty of course, and uh, you can click on here and like it can show all his descendants and so on and so forth uh, but looking at this now we might have already taken a look at his uh, bloodline let's see if uh, the king of Asturias has a bloodline no he does not what about uh, Navarre do you have bloodline no let's take a look around uh, the eastern part of the world and see if any of the people in, uh, what about somebody in Karen? Do you guys have a bloodline? He does! Satrap Bandad of Karen. Let's take a look at you. Erdwan Karen Palav. Okay. So he's Parthian blood. Palav is short for Palavi, which is a uh, Persian. Uh, uh, which means uh, king, uh, or high king in Persian, I, I should say, Pahlavi. But they've made it short here, and they've just written Pahlav, P-A-H-L-A-V. Okay, so enough of that. <laughs> so, a descendant of one of the seven Parthian clans under Sassanid rule. The seven clans of, house, uh, of houses uh, played by the importance in Persian history. Ooh, Parthian blood, as you can see. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Persian, the Persian line is strong with this one, <laughs> as you can see here. It's a monthly prestige, a personal combat skill. You can see all these uh, uh, servitude of great warriors, of Zoroastrian, all of that good stuff. So uh, there are lots of bloodlines, and I'm assuming with the different patches to come, Paradox is going to make the bloodlines more prominent and is going to give other characters uh, more bloodlines. Uh, but anyway. We should continue on with our game and not uh, dilly dally here. Um, let's uh, let's gain some more prestige, shall we? And uh, what we can do here is uh, take a look at our packs first. Uh, we have some decent amount of packs here. Vassals, everybody's happy with us. Our relations, our family. Um, there are people who need to be. Uh, uh, the thrones off, I would say, and the castle wall has been built, which is amazing. Uh, we could maybe who's your liege here? Could probably uh, 
No. Let's just hold off for now and actually let's just uh, check our claims. We still have the strong claim on the Duchy of Man. Uh, so we can probably, what we can do right now is uh, title loss on succession. Yes, I know that. Uh, you can press a uh, de jure ducal claim. Can I now? He seems to be independent. Ooh, his liege. How many men does he have right now? Maybe if we press this claim of ours. Uh, strong claim on the county of Gower. So that's the thing here. We, it would be beneficial if we do press our claims, but we need to hold off um, in this in this scenario right here. We need to hold off the uh, Viking invaders because if we fight amongst ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, they will definitely win. We need to stop fighting amongst ourselves and making sure that we basically unite and can fight them off. Uh, my wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Oh. Oh my god. Might be... Might be an illegitimate son. Okay. I have thought it over. I cannot be the father of my wife. Um, full cards baby, as it grows in her belly. Uh, we can hire somebody to find out. Now let's see if you are independent. Who's your lead here? Uh, the West Franken claim on Burgundy War has ended. King uh, Louis of uh, Lotharingia lost. That's a shame. Um, let's see here. You're independent. And who's your heir? Hmm. Has no wife. So let's see. The maid I hired to gain my wife of Bullcard's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious. Uh, this is the second time this has happened, ladies and gentlemen, so what I'm going to do now is um, this can't be a coincidence, right? So we will hire uh, more people. I must know, should I confront her directly or what I could do is I could hire more, more spies. So let's just uh, confront her directly and uh, let's see if our relationship gets what with her, so be it. Full card started crying when I asked her if she's being unfaithful. She profusely ensures me of her undying love, virtue, and steadfastness. Okay. She still has a high opinion of me. I uh, could keep her swayed if I wanted to, even more. Um. Uh. Yeah, I mean, just to make sure. We maybe might be able to arrange a betrothal between this guy and my granddaughter. Question is, will he? No, he will not. So what we can do is ask our chancellor to fabricate a claim here. Maybe if we can get a claim since he doesn't have a direct liege probably be able to um, get a claim that way. Um, oh, you can see this character's kills here. He's killed one person. King Highwell, the Whisperer. Oh, and he's got a high intrigue too. Uh, okay. Uh, the pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's cravings should always be accommodated. She will become gluttonous if I just let her eat everything. Um, quail's leg or... Yeah, I mean, I can afford to lose one gold. It's not a big deal. I really hope uh, Queen Fulcarda is doing well. I wonder if there could be something else I could do to help her endeavors. I will simply ask her, or um, 
can lose 50 prestige or maybe some other time. You know what, we're going to say maybe some other time. This event has fired off too many times in the past. And uh, let's just make sure uh, that we could maybe... Who's his heir? Hmm, that's his region for now. Let's see if he will accept a betrothal, shall we? Uh, between him and my granddaughter, King Louis, West Francia. I'm going to say yes. If I do matrilineal, it will be no. <laughs> so let's just keep that alliance, um, shall we? And uh, let's just make sure everything is perfect and dandy. Very nice. So the more alliances we have right now, the better. Because the thing is that they could be back any second. Uh, the Viking Barbarians could be back any second. And I do not want to be basically outnumbered. See, can we declare war on them? We could. We could declare war on them. And, uh... The daughter was born to King Rodri the Great and Queen Fulcard of Powys named Mabin. Mabin is a fitting name. Let's take a look at her stats now. Well, she's zero years old, so she doesn't have a stat. Uh, let's actually try and train you in, um... Etiquette. Yeah. There you go. So let her do that. We maybe might be able to declare war on this guy. And if we do it, we can do it uh, Holy War for Lancaster or a Holy War for Cecilwig. Now, the Petty Kingdom of Cecilwig. Let's look at the claimants, shall we? Um, there's a queen here of uh, Asturias. And uh, there's. My son, he has a claim? Ooh. My son has a claim. That's going to be good for the future. Young Gwendon has finished his education in stewardship. I notice with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. And he's got the Midas Touched. Yes! Yes, Midas Touched is very good. And he will be able to um, make a fine steward someday. So, let's see if I can. Uh, I can't, maybe because he's a, he always, he's a tributary state. So, I can't actually. Um, a friend of mine told me about this. So you can't declare war on your tributary states. Uh, I would like the Duchy of Man, though, to be. Uh, To be mine, but the problem is I can't declare war on them either. Must have valid castes Bella to declare war. Hmm, many must be independent. Oh well. So what we can do right now is go into our laws and see if we can change them. We can change the laws. Uh, we might be able to press the revoke title, um, but actually didn't go through last time. So what we can do is take a look at our Council of War Declaration, uh, Ruler Council, what are the effects of these? Let's see. Hmm. We could abolish the Council power, but then they won't like us very much. I really hope Queen Fulcarda is doing well. Uh, do I want to lose more prestige? You know what? I'll simply ask her. It's probably worth it to have more children at this stage because I am 56 years old. And uh, there we go. Disgraceful. Oh my god, disgraceful. That's not very good. That's a ni not a nice thing to say to your husband. <laughs> she claimed that we do not know each other well enough to... Um, Reveal details about her personal life to me. Well, I guess we might do, but uh, she's hiding something for sure. She is hiding something for, for sure. That's uh, that's true. Let's just make sure that we have... Uh, we can build some castle fortifications. We can do that. 
and make sure that we get stronger. We can't build anything here. And let's see if we can build anything here. City walls. Uh, they'll gain us a higher levy size and our tax income. Oh, uh, why not? Let's do that too. So, we're not at war right now. So... Let's see, if we maybe get him married off, but will he accept? Uh, let's see. Can we arrange a betrothal between you and my daughter? He'll say yes to that, but no to matrilineal. Ooh. And that's his heir. Oh, and the alliance between us and King uh, Nuno has broken down. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fine. What we can do is can we... Who's his heir? Hmm. He's his heir. That's the thing, though. I would really, really want... Uh, Let's let's take a look at the claimants here for a second. Uh, doesn't have any other claimants. Two children lack in education, so let's just fix that for now. Um, he seems to learning seems to be his highest stat, so let's just go. Yeah, let's just go with the learning education for um, Idwal. And let's check the other. His highest stat seems to be Diplomacy. So yeah, I guess uh, Diplomatic Education would be good for you. And a uh, new bird has arrived in the Muse and the new book of the art, uh, Writing Poetry. I should get started reading the book or I should take her out for a hunt. Hmm. Let's take a look, what would our king do in this situation? So he's not got a very high diplomacy, but he's got a marshal of uh, seven. So let's take her out for a hunt and see what happens. Uh, we could, we can't hold a feast right now. Let's just actually choose. And... See if we can have... No, our plots are lacking, to say the least. We could murder this guy. He is our tributary, though, but we could murder him. Shall we do that? Shall we plot against him and then take over his land from there? Because... Uh, for not to... Actually, no, let's not do that for now. Uh, rabbit after rabbit was caught, killed, and brought to me by my new bird. I like this. This is very good. And let's take a look at our vassals for a second here. Let's sort them by opinion. Uh, they seem to be happy. Our court. Again, sort them by opinion. They seem to be happy as well. Our packs are, I would say, okay. Um, I mean... Could have better packs, maybe somewhere with the Irish. Uh, we could do a holy war, though. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms. He is at war again. Who is he at war with? You know what? Let's, uh... Ooh. It's a Lollard Uprising. And they are back. The army of Gudfried is back. Okay. So he is now defending against uh, King Siegfried and... Uh, Christian defensive pact against West Francia. Okay. So what we need to do again is raise our men once more. He's 
just tell them all to march there. Maybe I should write a letter to Queen Fulcarde to try to convince her of my good intentions. A forthright message is what she needs, or try this is not a good idea. Uh, let me actually tr uh, try writing a letter to my wife, and maybe then she'll be happy with us. So, it's not a good time though. He's not responded to my letter, perhaps I should have tried writing in a less blunt way. Oh well. This is not very good. They have ambushed us. They have ambushed us in a bad way, and we do not have... Oh my god. This is not looking very good right now. I'm a falconer, that's awesome. Okay, I have been defeated. Just pause this real quick right here and make sure that we have a proper commander selected. Uh, our son is pretty good. Uh, should I? I'm 57 though. Um, let's see, you are not bad either. Let's make sure that we... Almost at 84% at 100 morale and 78. Uh, so let's just unpause this for a second. Make sure that the morale goes up. Once it does, we could merge uh, with the army of Marinian there. Actually, let's uh, march down there right now. This is not looking good. We might actually lose our territory here. Um, this is not looking good at all, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, what do you want now? I'm at war! Young Murfin has developed a stubborn streak. Oh. I should teach him to be more proud instead, or good for him. He'll get the stubborn and willful uh, trait, which, is, uh, which isn't bad. Um, but proud would give him more monthly prestige to him. Let's go. Let's teach him to be proud. We are a proud king. So let's just uh, do that. Our A minus 13%. And. Let's actually do this, right? Let's declare a holy war right now. We can't because we're already at war. I should have declared a holy war on them before, but that was my mistake that I didn't. I'm taking a bit of attrition too. Our armies are taking a bit of attrition, but uh, that's okay. As long as we manage to fight these guys off. Because Wales will not be crushed. We will be the last kingdom left standing on the Isle of Britannia. <laughs> okay. So, has arrived at my court. Who are you, though? Ooh, you have a bloodline. Blood of Caradog. Ooh. An ancient British warrior. King uh, of the... Uh, Cantavili tribe when the Romans invaded Britain and he let it we got another victory. That's nice uh, Prevented them from conquering the island. Ooh, so he is n He could be useful. Yeah, could be useful. He has a minus 22 opinion of me So I can just like sway this guy see if he uh, Doesn't have seem to have any claims or anything Might be able to. Um... No, and what is Marinian's army doing? He should have merged with me, but he did not. War score is at a minus 100, so we apparently lost this one already. The Peasants Revolt has declared. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So the peasants have risen up, and I must go fight them now. This is, uh... This is unsettling, to say the least. So let's just head back to... Let's just head back to Powys here, and, uh...
let's just actually put down that peasant's revolt. The ruler is personally leading the troops here. We seem to be faring a bit better than they are. Actually, no, we don't. Actually, we might win this one. Damn peasants. And we got a prisoner. Nice. We got a prisoner out of it. So, let's just go ahead and disband our army. I always imagined I would be the first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear um, Meridiog's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I have lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. Uh, he was a good guy, though, if I recall. He was my courtier, and um, yeah, he served us well. So, um... Meridi Meridia Dog uh, wouldn't want me to. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> Meridia Dog wouldn't want me to cry. Let's drink to his honor, or I could get the depressed trait. So let's actually drink to his honor and uh, cherish all the good times that we had together, shall we? So I've probably already had one drink too many when I'm joined at the table by an equally intoxicated woman it takes me a few minutes to realize but surely it must be um, Dabessa we spent quite some time drinking together sharing our sorrows who is this lady hmm she's a courtier and she's a tough soldier a homosexual honest patient chaste and content <laughs> It's a bit weird though how we met one another. Perhaps a new friend is just what I need or no go away. Let's actually uh, let's actually make her into a friend, right? And uh, we lost a friend and we made a friend. <laughs> so uh, let's see there. A uh, faithful and trusted hunting dog has finally taken his last breath. Oh no, our dog died. Should I bury him quietly in the castle garden or he deserves a proper funeral? Let's give him a proper funeral, shall we? And there has been a lot of death and despair going on in this episode, so I will just cut the episode here and continue on from here next time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, ladies and gentlemen, go down there and leave a like. It helps me out a lot, and do consider subscribing as it helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated on making more good content for you guys to enjoy. And as we are leaving, would you know it? Our marshal left. <laughs> so let's just do this really quick and uh, make our son our marshal. Why not? <laughs> and actually put him on the uh, uh, training troops uh, tab so that he can like train troops for us. But with that being said, I will bring this episode to a close. It has had its uh, highs and lows. Uh, definitely hasn't been without drama. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.